Hello everybody. So just want to do a quick video here on the new shack, as I'm calling it. Uh, the wife loves it when I say that. Anyways, it's a uh, 35 foot bunkhouse RV. I'll take you inside. Well, first I'll take you back here. So one of my favorite parts of this is this outdoor kitchen. You can see it's uh, pretty well stocked. It's got a refrigerator freezer. So you got, you know, uh, it's not much in here yet. We're getting ready to go. A couple essentials there. And a uh, freezer inside. I've got some frozen burgers and stuff. It does come with an ice maker, which is a nice feature. Uh, sink, hot and cold water, of course, goes uh, straight into the gray tank. That does come with a pull-out two burner gas stove, which works fantastic. Uh, it's all rolled uh, metal top, totally waterproof, of course, not to worry about there. A drawer, here is, you know, holds all of my different uh, utensils for cooking and whatnot. Cast iron and aluminum pan there. And then it's got a, a nice size storage cabinet up there where I keep my outdoor cooking stuff. So let's go inside. Now this door here goes straight into the bathroom. And it just uses the standard steps. It's got hookups for the TV outside, so you can hang the TV on that bracket. The sound comes through the speakers. And then it's got the connections down here, both for the antenna and then the video out for the CD player or for the DVD player from inside. So you can sit out here and watch movies. And we'll go inside. It's a 294BH Cherokee. All right, so we're inside. Right now the AC's running, so it might be a little bit noisy. But uh, it's got a, a comfortable couch. It has a U-shaped dinette. Over here you've got the kitchen. It's got the refrigerator freezer. A nice uh, uh, pantry. Microwave, of course. This is a stainless steel sink. Nothing the thing doesn't have is a garbage disposal. And you can this cover here doubles as a cutting board if you wanted to. Uh, it does have an electric fireplace. I think it puts out a ton of heat. We haven't had it in the in the uh, winter time yet, but uh, uh, we have tested it, of course. And then the TV. I just purchased a cheap um, scepter TV. And I modified the mount. It's supposed to just hang on that, but that mount keeps it flat on the wall. And when you're when the TV is flat against the wall, and you're sitting on this couch, you're if you ever want to watch it, you're just looking at it from a, such a sideways angle. I mean, that's about what you would see. It would also be straight up and down. But with that mount, it allows me to turn it to the point where if you're sitting on this couch, you can actually see the TV, and uh, it's pretty nice. Now the good part. So back here is the bunkhouse. And when we're just normally camping and whatnot, um, my son sleeps up here on this top bunk. He's 16 years old and way too big for that bunk, but he likes it, so that's fine. And this is my, if it's, if the weather is not nice outside, sorry about the mess back here right now, we're just kind of, throwing everything in to get ready to go camping. Uh, you know, I can just crack this window open. I can kick back right here, kick open a folding table, and uh, I can sit back there. Got, there will eventually be a 19-inch TV in there if I want to watch TV. And then uh, yeah, I can kick back and relax and do some operating. Uh, while I'm here, I'm doing this video on, on the iPhone, so it's going to be a little shaky. I apologize for that. Let me show you what I use when I'm operating portable. So. This is the go box that I usually take with me for operating. Uh, got the power cord. Let me close the shape because I was kind of backlights too much. There we go. All right, so you got the power cord. You keep a signal link because I always, almost always have a laptop with me. Let's set this over here. And then the radio that I bring with me. Uh, lives in a tactical carry case and uh, 
just like everybody should, I always keep a little pocket knife on me. Again, sorry about the shaky camera. So I just loosen this screw here, loosen this screw here. This cover pops off. Maybe you can flip it over backwards. Put it on like that, and I carry, it's a uh, Yesu FT891 and a MFJ, um, what was it, a 939? I think it was a nine, uh, 200 watt, nine, MFJ 939 uh, antenna tuner. And it works really well. I will set that up using uh, a couple different ways I can do it. In the top here, I carry a couple of different assortments of rope. Uh, if I want to use a wire antenna, which I can do, obviously. I uh, use I can use a slingshot to get the line up in a tree. I also carry a uh, tree rope with a weight on the end that if I can I can throw it up, and that works out well. And a few other things I keep a Gerber in here, tape, meter, you know, a, f a few other necessities for when you're operating. Uh, this setup works really well, and uh, yeah, I don't think you can go wrong with the FT891. So, anyways, that's it if I'm working in the rig, if I'm near a good power supply. And that knife right there, it's tiny. And I swear you could rebuild a car with it. I never. In fact, I've gone through a couple of these. And if I lose it, uh, I pick up another one immediately. You just can't, can't beat it. It's the, the best tool I've ever owned. All right, so... Go box number two. I guess you could say that this one is my HF go box. That would make this one my my VHF UHF go box. And uh, in here, I keep a couple of different things. Uh, again, some rope. Uh, my antenna for choice, or my antenna that I usually bring with me on this is this roll-up shape hole. UHF VHF it works on two meter and 440 and uh, works pretty re works really well I've got a power supply If I'm not working up battery, I can use this power supply uh, I got the power cords and all that in here uh, The radio that I keep with me is a TYT uh, I don't remember the model number. Oh, there it is TYT TH9800. It's a quad band it does 10 6 2 and 70 centimeter so pretty much has me covered there if i want to do 10 i can use the 10 meter dipole that i keep in this i do have just a straight 10 meter dipole in there if i want to do six i have to use an antenna i'll show you in a minute um, and then i also keep a md 380 uhf uh, uh, ht in here that i can use it's both analog and dmr so i can i can get out either way with that and I keep the microphone, a few other cables in here, just little odds and ends, adapter. If I want to use this with the roll-up J-pole, I can do that. So, uh, and a couple of manuals are tucked in behind that upper phone. So that's my UHF VHF Go Box. And then last but not least, if I'm out portable, Oh, the six meter antenna. This is a this is a Wolf River Coils. Take it along. They call it a TIA. Take it along antenna, and it uh, it'll do eighty through. I don't remember what the high end is on it. To be honest with you, but it works on six. I've never tried to use it on two meters or anything. I'm sure it probably would tune up there with that coil, but uh, you know, <laughs> really no need to. But it'll do eighty through six definitely, and it works pretty well. Um, the coil has got, uh, I think they're 30 foot radials that go up to the side and then a telescoping whip that screws on the top of it. And it comes, does have a tripod. So this, this is the base of the tripod and then these three legs. So this is a really, you know, for the money, it works really well. It's not the most efficient, but you know, what are you going to get? So now here is, if I'm going to go portable like hiking and I just want to bring something with me to work out. Um, I'll usually bring this with me and this I can put I have a tactical bag down there 
that's just a sling pack it goes over one shoulder but uh speaker wire i'm getting ready to build a speaker wire antenna i'm gonna build probably a 20 meter this is the rope i was talking about with the weight so i could throw wires up over a tree but then uh my portable rig if i'm gonna go work out in the field someplace is my Elacraft Elacraft uh, KX2. So this is the KX2. Um, this does 80 through 10 with wideband receive on AM, all the different modes. It's got built in CW and PSK31 decode, so you can actually see it right on the screen. Uh, in this little case right here, I've got the microphone. This is a little end fed, uh, 80 through 10, 80, no, 40 through 10, 40, 20, and 10 uh, meter end fed antenna made by LNR Precision. And it's actually a really good radio or good antenna. I've, I've made several contacts on it, even just sitting in my backyard, and it wasn't very high up in the air. And then in this little case here, I keep a uh, uh, 15 foot feed line couple of adapters I've got the post adapter here so I can when I get that speaker wire um, measured out to the correct dis uh, length I'll use this to connect it to the radio so. so anyways that's my mobile and portable operation uh, not my mobile yeah my mobile shack operation and uh, it pretty much gets me on the air anywhere I want to be I also bring with me a uh, uh, Yaesu FT2 D FT2DR, which is their little handheld um, Yaesu Wires X capable HTs. So if there's a Yaesu repeater around with Wires X, I can get on that too. So, anyways, that's uh, we're getting ready to go. I'm going to be doing several activations. I'm hoping to get at least one or two soda activations in while we're on our camping trip. And uh, you know, I'll I'll spot for it and see if we can get any contacts using the Elecraft. And uh, you know, maybe I'll shoot some emails out to people I know. Say if I'm going to call CQ from the campgrounds. And uh, I'm excited. I can't wait to get out there. Hopefully I'll get you on the air. Looking forward to it. 7-3.